guys how are you all doing i hope you're all doing fine welcome back to my channel thank you so much for returning back here if you are a returning subscriber god bless you but if you're new here hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and you subscribe click on that notification bell you will find it down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video i promise you you always enjoy every content that i upload in this channel so dear friends in our today's video we have another girls talk yes online dating tips for women especially my black african sisters you who are interested in interracial dating and i'm doing this video due to the things that i have been observing while helping different ladies who are on online dating apps searching for love all those who have found love already even some are married already <laughs> from their stories guys me helping them i had to note down these things that are very very important and i feel like they will help you so so much so today's video is going to be about things you should never do on online dating apps as a, a woman never do these things so without wasting much of your time guys let us jump into this video so friends thing number one that you should never do as a woman on online dating apps who is searching for that white man for marriage or any man of any color when you start chatting with a guy online never start telling this guy about the whole history about you maybe you are a single mother you start telling this guy about you know the father of your kids about your exes <laughs> everything guys concerning you never do that as a woman because you doing that from my own experience it will backfire you in the future if this guy turns out to be toxic if this guy turns out maybe he was just there you know to play mind games he will use same same things you know to start insulting you to start giving you a fault be like no this relationship cannot work you know you are like that even your past relationship ended this way because he has got all information about you about your life history be very very careful but attention i'm not telling you not to open up when you start chatting with a genuine guy no you should open up but you know when you are just starting to get to know each other even that guy is not like he's opening up about everything that happened in his life no he will tell you one thing at a time as he keeps on assuring himself if you are the one i know you guys when you are on online dating apps you're chatting with a guy sometimes you know you don't know if this guy is the one you're not sure <laughs> even for serious men genuine men it's the same he is chatting with you but he is not all that sure if you are the one that is why he will tell you one thing at a time getting to know you you know <laughs> and eventually he will start telling you things so you two beautiful ladies please stop this even last time i told you that when you start telling a guy everything about you on that first message and then this guy you know happens to be a player it hurts you right because you have opened up already in swahili they say umejimaliza you know <laughs> to this guy <laughs> umejiachia ukajimaliza you know <laughs> so if this guy you know after two days disappears oh my goodness it's gonna hurt you so much so learn from this never 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 tell a guy that you meet on online dating apps about your life history <laughs> when you get to know each other you know those first few months <laughs> Thing number two that you should never do on online dating apps as a woman. Oh my God, this has been a problem to many. I've been observing this, especially to most ladies that comes to me 
on Instagram, you know, you DM me and you need advice. So I came to realize that most of you actually you chase men away due to the way you respond. So maybe a guy sends you a message and you have not even understood well what he means, but <laughs> Because you want to respond so fast to this guy, you go ahead, respond to this guy without even thinking well. What this guy is asking you, even last time there is a lady, a very good friend of mine, <laughs> I've been helping her. She came to me, was like, oh my God, Bella, this guy asked me one, two, three, four. And I responded like this. I told her, but you responded the bad way. So she started opening up and told me, by the way, Bella, I've lost this guy already. Now you are telling me that I responded the bad way. This is the reason why he disappeared. I told her, I've been here helping you out why didn't you ask me? Because if you are in contact with me, we have been communicating, you have paid for my channel membership, it means I'm guiding you through. So if you receive a message from a guy and you don't understand, instead of responding to this guy very, very fast <laughs> and you destroy everything, better run, come to me and I'll get back to you very, very soon. <laughs> I'll give you an answer on how to respond because guys, I've got enough experience experience with these people <laughs> another story there is a lady i've been helping too so she was chatting with a guy and she was you know trying to create castles in the air <laughs> but after listening to her you know i'm honest even if something is gonna hurt you i will tell you straight away i told this lady calm down keep observing this guy very well because what I know from the story you have told me about the guy, there is one, two, three, four red flags. So observe those. <laughs> and today morning, she sent me a message thanking me that, oh my God, Bella, <laughs> I'll put a message here. <laughs> Your experience with these white guys is on another level. Yes, guys, if a guy isn't serious, I know. If the relationship won't work in the future, I will know from the story that you will tell me. So guys, please, if you are on online dating apps chatting, be thankful that I am here to help you guys. So if you don't know how to respond, instead of destroying everything, you know, by responding badly, by responding wrongly <laughs> and cause trouble to yourself, come to me, okay? Because another truth about on online dating apps, these guys that you meet on online dating apps, not all are bad. We have seen lots, lots of success stories that I have shared and the ones that I haven't shared yet. By the way, I've got lots of success stories coming very soon. Okay, so just stick here. <laughs> yeah, so we have seen exist good men on online dating apps. The problem, guys, is the way you chat. I'm still on the way you respond to these guys. So there is another example from a lady that I have been helping. I'm not going to be sharing her name, you know, due to the respect that I have, but I'm sharing this so that you can learn from her experience. Okay, so she's someone that is a bit, I think, short-tempered and react to things very, very fast. You know, I think she's very easy to jump into a conclusion. So I was chatting with a guy, I think, for three months and then things happened. You know, she overreacted about something and then the guy went quiet, like quiet, quiet, quiet. The lady could call the guy nothing the lady could send messages nothing but one time she woke up and found that on the guy's whatsapp um, profile <laughs> has written that i am on my way to meet my bae she was very very disappointed frustrated very sad could lock herself in the room and cry and cry and cry because that guy, they chatted for so long and thought that that guy is the one. But what she forgot or what you guys always forget is that you are chatting with a guy. That guy is not chatting with you only. 
that's why you'll find you're chatting with a guy it's not that you guys you know, are planning to meet already no but you are getting to know each other right as he is getting to know you he is also trying to get to know another lady so if you start overreacting about things if you start showing you know your short-tempered character towards this guy and maybe this guy wants someone who is not short-tempered wants someone who is very understanding wants someone who will give him peace he will leave you and some of you it's not that you are short-tempered no it's just because of the culture difference you know so a white guy tells you something and you understand something else you overreact <laughs> end of the story so guys be careful on the way you respond to these guys especially if you see a guy is serious because not all men on online dating apps are players thing number three you should never do on online dating apps as a woman is to force a guy you are chatting to on online dating apps to be on the same level as you are when it comes to falling in love because I know you are there, I take an example, very desperate, you want that white man, you know, so badly, very quickly. <laughs> so you come across this guy, he is actually a very genuine guy, and everything goes very, very well. You're getting to know each other, but because you are desperate, you want things to happen so fast, you are so much in a hurry you start forcing this guy to start telling you i love you you start forcing this guy to start telling you i am coming to see you you start forcing this guy to tell you i want to invite you don't do that please dear beautiful ladies when you start chatting with the guy you see he seems genuine don't force him just give him time you know <laughs> for me i always say time will tell if that guy is serious, if he is genuine, time will tell. If he is really, really interested in you, there is no need for you even to ask, do you love me? <laughs> there is no need to ask this guy, can you please invite me? There is no need. This guy will tell you things without even you asking. When it comes to that situation of you asking, it's because that guy is not all that much interested. So you have to put more efforts and start forcing this guy. If things are not happening, don't force them. Please, please, let the guy be in peace. Let him get to know you. Guys, it's not that you have met in real life. Maybe you gave him your goodies. <laughs> no, you are just getting to know each other. So if this guy is not talking anything serious or future plans, why should you chat only with him? No, keep chatting with others too. You've got nothing to lose. But where you go wrong, you chat with a guy and then you fall in love with this guy. You start forcing him to fall in love with you. And sometimes if you do that, a guy can ask himself, why is this lady so much in a hurry? <laughs> If you remember Stefan, Mariana's boyfriend, told you guys that he could receive 150 messages in a day, okay? So a guy wants to give him chance, you know, to get to chat with different ladies before he chooses who is the best, whom he think they are compatible. What you need to do as a woman is not to force this guy to fall in love with you but show him your good qualities you know i've got this <laughs> but by actions guys not by talking that is how you go about it and not start being like do you love me or you start calling this guy continuously call 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 messages 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 <laughs> And sometimes these guys get tired and ignore you. So you'll call and call and call and call and call. No guys, there is no need for you to do that. Just be calm, chat with this guy, show your good qualities. If he sees something special in you, girl, I can assure you that things will happen. That guy will take things the next level without being forced. Thing number four you should never do on online dating apps as a woman who is searching for a white man for marriage or any man of any color is to be scared to lose a guy you are chatting to. 
so i'm going to be taking an example i told you i always use examples so that you can try to imagine you know <laughs> we are imagining this is online dating <laughs> yeah so you are chatting with this guy and you are so much in love with him you have attached yourself to him because on online dating apps exist guys that can make you fall in love exist guys that can make you lose your head <laughs> you've been there in the clouds you know <laughs> or in heaven dancing with the angels <laughs> when i say this you always laugh yeah but that's the reality guys so exist such kind of guys but that doesn't mean a guy like that is genuine no some just want that online girlfriend so that he can fantasize you know <laughs> <laughs> being with you how he's gonna marry you how he's gonna have mixed kids with you <laughs> you know but in real life it will never happen <laughs> yeah so it is such kind of guys so you find that you're chatting with this guy and every time you plan to meet a guy postpones he tells you no i cannot come due to work i cannot come my mother got sick i cannot come i got covid i cannot come Lots of excuses. Oh, you are chatting with a guy. It has been six months, seven months. And then this guy starts telling you, for us to meet, you have to save some money and I will have to save some money. I told you, stay away from Mr. I am saving. Yes, guys. If a guy goes on online dating apps, chat with a black African woman who is in Africa. <laughs> he should be ready to pay for your trip. There is no I am saving. He should be ready. He knows if everything is okay, after three months, four months, I am supposed to invite this lady to my country or I would have to go to meet this lady in real life. But not tell you, save and I am saving. That's a red flag. Oh, you are chatting with a guy, everything is good, but every time you want to make a video call, that guy brings an excuse 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 but you keep on chatting with him because he's so sweet he tells you sweet words he tells you words that he knows you want to hear from him or from the man or you are chatting with a guy you find he is in a very very complicated situation some of you have advised you to make that call without even telling him even if it is at night see if he will respond so you try to do that let's say five times but this guy never picks those are red flags right but because you don't want to lose this guy that you have been chatting with that you call a boyfriend already <laughs> i have a boyfriend <laughs> You know how we can dream. <laughs> you know, in Swahili, there is another say they say, which means <laughs> someone who bewitched ladies died long time ago, <laughs> which means there is no cure. <laughs> Because we always, you know, go back to same, same mistakes. I don't know why. Or we always like fall in love with these guys just like that on online dating apps. Bella has been singing and singing. Don't attach yourself to a guy on online dating apps emotionally before you start seeing the actions. But still, you fall in love <laughs> and start dreaming and start calling this guy your boyfriend. <laughs> So you keep chatting, you keep on tolerating everything that it is very clear those are red flags because you are scared to lose him. Why should you be scared to lose him? Because the truth is, even if you keep on holding on to that relationship, it will never work. It will end up into tears. So when you see red flags, please do not ignore them don't be scared to lose that guy because you're not losing anything <laughs> you're saving yourself future tears yes dear beautiful ladies and as a sister who loves you so much never be scared to lose a guy that you have seen lots of red flags in him you tell a guy i want to see you on a camera he's like no i am very busy but i love you so much you know one day i'll make that video call he keeps on promising no 
tell him if you can't do that today then end of the story so don't be scared please please remove that fear because that will save you from also wasting your time on online dating apps so this goes to all my beautiful sisters who are on online dating apps and are interested in interracial dating in white men so if you are on online dating apps searching for a white man for marriage please please never get married to a white man without knowing his real life in his country because i've been seeing things happening i don't want to bring people's you know story or their private life things that you know they share with me to you guys but because I love you, I have to take just the lesson that I learned from them and share with you guys so that I can save you. Please, you fall in love with a guy. Everything is good with this white guy. He comes to Africa, you know, to see you, then returns to his country. Please, once he returns back to his country, you should talk of you going to his country to see his life too so that you can get the whole picture about this guy's life about how this guy is because if he comes in africa i've told you and he comes one time the second time the third time fourth time you decide to get married but you have never been to his country you get married in africa everything there then after marriage maybe that's when you are supposed to go to his country and then problems starts arising to an extent you can't go to his country or you go to his country and then it's a surprise you know expectations guys <laughs> or you find out that in his country that guy has got even a criminal record you know <laughs> yeah so before you get married i said this even in the video that i shared with Rusev, that you guys need to make the research about the guy's country you guys need to find out this guy's life in his country not the life that he showed you when he came to africa no <laughs> not at all don't wait till things turns out bad you are married already then you start checking his criminal record that would be too late for you so if you want to check his criminal record do it now if you want to know this guy's life you know in his country do it now you want to know what happened in his past love relationship experience do it now please dear beautiful ladies before you get married to him it's very very important i've seen lots of ladies you who wants to get married to white guys you are chatting with a guy and then he tells you i want to invite you to my country then you start freaking out <laughs> You start being like, no, I want you to come here. And when you come here, we can get married. Hello? <laughs> How can you get married to a guy that you haven't even seen his life? Does that guy work in his country? You don't know. You're not sure. He only told you I work. <laughs> the guy is divorced. What happened? You know, in his past love relationship experience, <laughs> Was he toxic? Is a father? Is he a good father to his kids? You need to know all those things, but you won't know all those things by just staying in Africa and then the guy goes, returns, gets married to you. No, you also need to visit his country. I know money can be a problem. I know guys, but you can always make that plan you know if you can't travel then at least that guy should be ready to show you everything you know like you talk every single day the guy is very open with you he's not hiding anything from you because there's some guys you chat he knows he's a white guy black women are scared to ask questions so he will hide lots of things from you when you ask this he tells you no i cannot tell you that is private but still you go ahead and get married to him no dear sister don't do that for this let me end here today but i'm very sure next time i'll come on it again because it's very very important so take this 
Thing number six that you should never do on online dating apps, I've talked of this. I know you guys know, but whenever I do a video, I see comments. Please, Bella, tell ladies not to ask money on online dating apps with men they are chatting to. I repeat, dear beautiful ladies, my dear sisters, do not ask men money. A man sending you money doesn't mean he is so much in love with you. Yes, it shows some responsibility that I take care, but some men send you money just to make you stay sweet, you know, keep sweet. <laughs> Don't ask lots of questions. Whatever I do, you have to say yes. I have to control this relationship because I'm taking care of you because I'm sending you money. So there is no need for you to ask money. And I told you also, when you ask money, 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 men who are genuinely searching for love, they misunderstand you. Think that maybe you are on online dating apps only to ask for money. If you're chatting with him and you're chatting to other men, maybe you are asking from other men too to send you money. So avoid money talks. Don't ask men money on online dating apps. I repeat and I'll keep telling you guys. Another thing is sending nude photos. I told you if you're chatting with a guy on online dating apps, he starts talking of sex you know, in your conversation, before even getting to know you, just know that that relationship will never work. No matter how good he is, no matter how sweet he is, no matter how he tells you he want to come to marry you in your country or he wants to invite you in his country, no, that relationship will end terribly. So dear ladies, always avoid sex talks with men that you are chatting online dating apps. I repeat, don't be scared to lose him. He talks about sex in the first conversation. You are getting to know each other. It is sex, sex, sex. Kiss him goodbye. So dear ladies, this is like a bonus tip to you all that are watching this video. And a disclaimer. I am not intending to disrespect you. No, I respect you so, so much. I love you so much as my sisters, right? <laughs> From the bottom of my heart, guys. So, some of you present yourself to men that you are chatting to on online dating apps like a lady who is empty here. Never do that. Please, please. That's why I advised you when you are chatting with a guy, you see a guy is very genuine. Go and research. Research about his country, his culture, traditions. Tend to be a listener. Always listen to him very careful. Or if he sends you a message, like I said in the past tips, go through it almost two times to get to understand what he means than rushing and you know respond to something that is even off point <laughs> that's when you present yourself as a woman who is empty here you should show a guy that i am intelligent you should show a guy that i'm very understanding you should show a guy that i'm a woman who reasons well you know towards life because a serious man, go ask all ladies that have found love on online dating apps, they'll tell you this. Most men who are serious tend to read your mind, tend to read your capacity of reasoning towards things, towards situation. <laughs> Sometimes a guy can bring a situation to you just to test you. If you remember Leticia and Ian's story, <laughs> Ian came up with a question <laughs> like, if you want me to help you, what would you want? A plane ticket, a phone, a laptop? <laughs> and you know, <laughs> Leticia failed on that. There were some, you know, misunderstandings. <laughs> but later on, because Ian never presented himself to as a guy who is empty here, no. He went, did his research, tried to understand and then came again to Leticia, you know, and talked to her after getting all the answers. So you two, you are chatting with a guy 
please try to reason please try to think beyond your nose it is very very important this is what i have observed from lots of success stories that i have shared with you and the ones that i haven't shared yet so i have a little example on this Recently, there is a lady I've been helping. I've told you guys already that I help lots of ladies on online dating apps. They follow me on Instagram at African Bella, and then we get to talk, you know, about things. So, as I was helping this lady, she got a question from a guy on online dating apps, and this guy was asking her, What are you looking for on online dating apps? So you who is watching this video, write me in the comment section below, what were you going to respond to that guy? <laughs> but the lady that I was helping told me, Bella, should I block this guy or should I just ignore him? <laughs> it's like she was very, very angry. I told her, girl, you have to respond to him. Because, you know, there is no harm in a guy asking you, what are you looking for on online dating apps? He wants to know, what are you searching for? Yes, he went through your bio, but he wants to hear it from you. So it is simple. Tell a guy clearly what you are looking for on online dating apps. Don't just, you know, get offended easily like that from a question like that. Because when he asks you, what are you looking for on online dating apps, ask him too. And I would like to know too, what are you looking for in here? He will respond to you. I've seen other ladies too. I talked of this. Oh my God. A lady came to me, we talked and I was like, to help you, you have to first, you know, join my channel membership. So she asked me how much and I told her. Then her response was wow after me explaining everything <laughs> of what she needs to do and why you know she needs to pay for the membership <laughs> i was you know kind of angry and i only asked her what do you mean by wow so she responded to me but from there i can't lie to you i blocked that lady the reason why i blocked her never disrespect people even if you've got you know a short-tempered character even if i don't know we are raised differently but if you really want to find the one on online dating apps you should respect people don't be like you are up there i don't know <laughs> oh you pretend to know it all even me as bella who always gives you tips it's not that i know it all no guys so please observe yourself the way you respond to this man observe yourself how you carry yourself on online dating apps observe yourself that first message when you get it from a guy how do you respond to him because the way you respond will make that guy keep on asking you questions to get to know you or will make that guy block you just like i blocked that lady on Instagram <laughs> a guy can't write you a long message and you're like okay great what's that of course I will block you because <laughs> that's not what I'm searching for I'm not into ladies that are you know of low energy if I come with higher energy I want to get the higher energy back that's how things works dear beautiful ladies no I'm always straightforward with you because I know these tips if you apply them, they will help you so, so much to find the one on online dating apps. Let me take this chance to wish you all the best, you know, in your search. And I still believe this year you will find the one. Yes, if it has happened for others that we have been, you know, hearing their success stories, why not you? Why? It's going to happen. So beautiful friends, we have come to an end of our today's video. Thank you so much for watching till now. God bless you. Please, if you have liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something. Watch my other videos too. They are super, super good. Comment below what you think about this video. Please don't forget to subscribe 
join the family and thank you for subscribing until next time guys i love you so much you're always here in my heart ciao ciao